G'day, thanks again for watching uh, Art Studio and joining us. We're going to skip straight into a little painting here. We're going to paint a seascape this time. And what I'm going to do is uh, just go around our palette, of course, so we know we've got our titanium white, it's always there. Got a bit of cerulean blue and I've tinted it as well. Got some yellow ochre, I've tinted that as well. I mean, I put some white into it. And we've got some, the old Volution Violet. Very, very beautiful colour, this, love it. One of my favourites, as you all know. And that's been tinted as well. So that's how it comes out when it's uh, added with a bit, a bit of white. We've got a little bit of orange, we've got a burnt umber, we've got some darks. We've also got a dark here where I've put a little bit of this Volution Violet into the dark and tinted it a little as well. We've got a little bit of uh, blue violet here as well that I've mixed up. So we're just about ready to go. I've also uh, just painted the canvas with a very, very light coat of white just to make our paint flow when we put our colours on. So we're going to get straight into it here. We're going to put in a little bit of a yellow ochre. Always try and pick your lighter colours first and so you don't have to keep cleaning your brush. So just going to put that around the sky a little bit. I know that I'm going to have a little bit of it down here as well. So we'll put it in there while we've got it on our brush. If you've got a little bit too much paint on there, just grab a tissue and take it off because I'm going to go straight into a little bit of blue here. Put that in the sky as well. Just go over those areas. Don't over blend them too much. Bring those colours into the painting. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of that this violet here, this Volution Violet that we've got and just get it into those colours as well. So a little bit of a mishmash but we're going to sort of blend them together as we go and then we're going to put some clouds over the sky here as well. So still be able to see that little bit of blue coming through. That's what you want, make it look three dimensional. It's like a bit of depth in there. Even a little pick up a little bit of that dark here as well. Needs a little bit of that dark in the sky I think just to bring your eye down towards the centre. Normally it's a little bit darker up towards the top there, so that's always a good thing. Okay, just crisscross action, just blending those colours in. We could even get a little bit of, a little bit of dark in there for a body of a cloud as well. Okay, so we've just about got that down to the horizon line. Don't forget one important thing is to never get your horizon line in the centre of the painting because it can just divide it in half. We don't want that look. People don't know where to look. So if you bring it right down, or you can even take it right up there and have your, your waves and your beach up here if you like, and have sand dunes down the front, as long as we don't get that halfway look. Just going to put in a little bit of a background here, and just going to go straight into a little bit of our Volution Violet, and might even pick up a little bit of light, and we're just going to put in a little bit of a bit more of the dark, I think, and even that colour because it's in the sky. So we've got our a little bit of an island or a headland coming out from the mainland here. Just make it look interesting. A little bit of a hump there in the front. And what I'm going to do is just clean that brush. Now you can do this a few ways. I always, I always like to use a knife, but before we do, we're going to put in some clouds. So what I might do is just where those, some of them darks are, we can have some very light clouds. And I'm going to use a little round puffy brush that I've, that I've found. And you can use lots of different brushes. We'll try a couple while we're here. Look, you can even use uh, just a little inch square brush, just a cheap brush, and get those colours into the sky. Let's make it look interesting. Pat them around. And even down on the horizon line, I find it always a good idea. A lot of the time I use a fan brush for that, so I'm just going to... Now what we're actually missing here now is a little bit of that dark under the cloud so we can pick that up straight onto the fan brush and give that a little bit of body because it's always got that shade colour, that's what makes it the silver line, that's what makes it look like a cloud so we can just get that in there, you can see that's made a big difference already. So we've got the lights against the darks up there and we've got a little bit of shade underneath it to make it look as if there's a bit of a bit of shadow underneath it as well. So just pat that down once again very very lightly down in here. Don't want it to stand out too much, but it just brings out that light colour, the white in the cloud. If you put that dark next to it, it actually makes it look lighter. So just fan those out. That's fine. Got a nice looking little cloud effect there. Once again, I was just about to say before, I use a uh, ruler sometimes for this. So I'm just going to pick up another inch brush that we've got here. So I can find it. Here we are. That'll do nicely. And I'm just going to put that straight across our painting. You can always come back and touch it up if you mark it. 
it's not that critical. So we're down below our, our centre of the painting for our horizon line and I'm going to pick up straight away, I'm going to pick up this dark in here and that's going to give us a beautiful contrast with the sky and the water. So, and that's all we really need for that. Just get that off there quickly. Now to just to fuzz that out, because you probably won't get a dead straight line like that, although sometimes you, you do see it like that. What I like to do is just gently fan it a little and just take the edge of it just a little bit. Be careful with that dark because you can mess it up. So we're just going to bring that down onto the horizon line there. There we go. Now we can just pick up a fan, probably the best way to go, and just going to go straight into this and get some of these darks further down into the painting because I don't want to get the big brush in here because it's going to wipe everything out. So just getting that colour back into the water, pick up a little bit of that Volution Violet that we've got in there, give it a bit of red, just helps it a little bit. Pick it up on your brush, don't bother cleaning it. And we're just going to go right down here and we're going to give us a bit of a dark right under that wave as well. So that's the, the shadow of our wave we're just putting in here. We're going to have it splashing up against some rocks or something here, I think. Sounds like a bit of a good plan, so we'll do that. Just fan that out. Give it a bit of a clean. And we're going to put a few lights over the back of that background there. That background headland there looks fine, so we can stick with that. So we're going to pick up a little bit of our Volution Violet here, and I'm just going to put it straight across some of the lights, like waves breaking in the background. Don't do it everywhere, just here and there where the waves picking up and the lights hitting the top, or it's just about to turn over, or it's just peaking. There we go. Makes all the difference. We can even put a bit of light, a bit of stark white straight on the centre there, just to make it stand out a little. And we can do that right now just by doing that. So you can even roll your knife over to make it look as if this, the wave is actually just breaking a little bit. A bit hard to see sometimes when I work so fast, but if you just lay that knife over, so we're just putting it on and laying it over, just gives that effect of it just rolling over. There we go. That's just about all we're going to need. Lost a little bit of our dark in there underneath that. That's OK, you can put it back in. Okay, now we're just going to get our knife and we're going to put a lot of white in this painting here now. And that's going to create the effect of that big wave rolling over. So we can lay that on nice and thick. Make sure you've got a tissue in your hand, keep that brush, keep that knife clean, spread your paint out. And we're just going to roll that knife, give us the effect of that wave coming over. Right to the edge, we don't want to lose it. But here's our feature points right here. And just take a little bit of that out of there, so we might even put a little bit of that dark back in. Just on the top there, just to give us the effect of that wave rolling over a bit better. Okay, much better. While we've got it, we can pick up a little bit of uh, dark white. We might use this little puffy brush that we've got and we're just going to put in a bit of splash up. So we've got a bit of white splashing up and there's going to be a nice big rock here and that's probably good enough. Needs a little bit of colour in there so we'll put a little bit of that Volution Violet in there to make it stand out against the sky. There we go. And I'm going to roll that white over and come underneath it, of course. Now, what that really needs there is a little bit of dark. And we can do that really easy. It's going to change the whole, uh, the whole look of this wave. You've got to have those darks in there because it's over the side of the, in front of the wave in the shadow. So we can just put that little bit of light there like that. Bit of dark, sorry. Makes it look more like a wave turning over. And we can pick up a bit of our dark once again and come back up into here. So, and now we can just actually take that around so it looks as if that wave is just getting ready to roll. Not everywhere. 
not too concerned about this spot just here. So just bring that around, fan it if you're not happy with it, get those darks back in the top again, that's it. Starting to give us the effect we're after. Not happy with that really, need that little bit of dark coming up. That looks a bit better. See, you can change things quite easily. The thing is not to be afraid of it. And sit there and look at it. Just do something. Because more than likely you're gonna learn something, even if you mess it up. So we're not too worried about that. Okay. Just about coming up to a break. We're gonna have a short break and we'll be back shortly and we're gonna continue on and we'll see you then.